right, so we just recently got disconnected just a few days ago, uh, and but now we actually got the full load test going on here. So let me show you or see what's actually going on here. I don't know if you can see this. We got roughly 12,000 watts coming out of the batteries and roughly around 1,100 for close to 11,500 uh, going into the AC. Right now, it's, it's uh, somewhere close to about nine something, so 908. So there's obviously no, you know, PV outside. So right now it's 9.08 p.m. and we got roughly close to 12,000 watts coming out of here. We could run some, some additional circuits uh, got going on, but what's actually happening right now is that this one right here, which is the Tesla charger, is actually running at 48 amps. It might be 47 amps. I think I may have turned down a little bit because I saw some of the other lights and stuff kick on, but the, uh, the Tesla charger wall charger is charging at a full 47 or 48 amps um so let's t see what's actually going on up in here so this is actually connected to this uh indoor wall mount battery which is in parallel with this indoor wall mount battery which is also in parallel uh using this victron links power in with this stack of eg4 live power four batteries and this one ll battery up here at the top uh there's another two set of batteries we got going on up in here which is this ao lithium rack of batteries uh we moved some of them uh we if you've been following the channel you know we have six of these but four of them we kind of moved to the uh victron system so right now there's only two here each one of these is putting out somewhere close to about 15.6 amps this one here is drawing about 16.1 amps those two are in parallel, but this rack here is in parallel. Uh, the communication is not all working for every single battery, but these two, the Life Power 4 V2 and the LL communications is tied up to this uh, indoor wall mount battery. And then this indoor wall mount battery. So it's all kind of tied in and feeding this EG4 12,000 XP, right? And the 12,000 XP is putting out AC load right here into uh, the breaker here and it's pulling out right now into this Tesla. Uh, the uh, mini split, the heat pump was on for a little bit. I think that's why we turned down to about 47. Um, but it was running fine, even though the heat pump was on for just a little bit. So I did turn that off, all oh, the breaker still on. These lights, these circuits in the basement are still run, still running the lights that you see powering this video, but it's actually really nice, right? So if you wanted to see, I don't think I've had this problem before, at least with the solar system at least. But here, this is a uh, amp meter. Right now it's on AC, let's put it in DC. So I initially had a problem getting the wires around this, mainly because this jaw was too small, the clamp was too small, right? So it wouldn't fit here, you can see there's a gap. Uh, so we have to turn it a little bit in order to get it closed. According to this, we are drawing close to about 245 amps. 246 amps on uh, from the batteries. So 246 amps from the batteries uh, coming out of here. Another interesting thing is what's coming out of uh, the parallel system, right? So this one right here, which is the uh, EG4 Life Power 4 batteries is putting about close to about 98 amps. And then this one right here is the, uh, what do you call this? The AO Lithium batteries is drawing about 32.1 amps. So these two are right now also combined into uh, the, the indoor wall mount batteries uh, using these two cables here. So the, the combination of the two other racks is drawing about 132 amps. So uh, the parallel port batteries are actually going in through here and then feeding this. So I'm standing literally the same spot about two feet away from the inverter. Let's go take a look at the app. Right now it says the app according to the app we're pushing about 11,600 watts out of the uh, 12,000 XP into our load center. Right, You can see right here the load center currently has the four batteries uh, connected in parallel as we talked about earlier right here. Uh, the ca battery capacity for two of the indoor wall mount units plus to the 100 amp hour batteries is on 760 amp hours and all this stuff is all up in here obviously you can see the uh wattage coming out of each line here is close to about 5800 and it's been uh pushing pretty much power out right so it's been really stable for let's go check how long the tesla's been charging so this tesla has been charging at 48 amps for 
does it tell you how long it's been charging? I'm not sure how long it's been charging, but so far it's delivered uh, 15 kilowatt hours, right? So if it's delivering somewhere close to 11 kilowatt hours and we've delivered about 15 kilowatt hours it's at a rate of 15 kilowatts per hour, then that means, you know, we're charging or it's been charging for less than an hour. So uh, it's been pretty steady so far. I'll see if we can dump as much of this capacity into the Tesla and report back to see if we run any issues right now, mainly because this thing is running, you know, the full 48 amps on the Tesla charger and at a solid uh, 11,600 watts. So we'll report back later. All right, so it's been about two hours later, and as you can see here, we've delivered roughly around 41 kilowatt hours to the car from the off-grid system. If you look at the off-grid system, it's gonna be about 47 kilowatt hours delivered, but like I said, there's other stuff running off of this off-grid system, but about 41 kilowatt hours of it has gone to the car at the rate of 48 or 47 amps using the Tesla wall charger. So that's, you know, if you put it at 48 amps, that's roughly about 12,000 watts or 11,500-ish, depending on the voltage that, you know, your system is running at. But in our case, it's gone pretty much close to two and a half hours solid and delivered uh, 41 kilowatts per hour right so or 41 kilowatt hours so um, if you're gonna say hey can it be done and can it be done at the full rate using an off-grid system the answer is definitely yes especially if you have the right equipment right so the equipment we used in this video is gonna be the 12,000 XP the EG4 12,000 XP and a few of the EG4 batteries and you know other batteries that we kind of added up to make this happen and that's one of the reasons we wanted to get the 12 thousand XP mainly because it can charge the Tesla at the full 48 amps using the Tesla wall charger there are probably a few other ones that could probably get it done but you know 12 thousand XP is fairly new and it's an all-in-one in system and it has a high surge capacity so it is very ideal for this type of situation so if you want to know any of the uh uh, equipment and stuff like this used in the video will probably just throw a link in the description below and or on the website so feel free to check it out but if you're asking me would we recommend the 12,000 xp and or the eg4 batteries the answer is a definitely yes uh, we purchased all this stuff from uh, signature solar so if i were you and you wanted to purchase any of this equipment just make sure you check them out i think we have a discount code somewhere in there that allows you to get like 500 off or 50 off 500 or something like that so make sure you use the code if you want uh uh, you know to save 50 bucks otherwise have a great day thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time